Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Bim Bender, and you're watching the unboxing and a short review of the WE MSK AEG, which is an electronic airsoft replica of the Magpul Masada ACR or the Adaptive Combat Rifle. The exact model that I have is the WEKF E01, which has a medium barrel and a Masada stock. As I mentioned before, this is an electronic AEG rifle, which is at least as far as I've seen very rare. There are a lot of GBBR versions also made with WE out there, but of course gas is not for everyone. I bought this through an European online retailer called Gunfire.pl. That's a Polish retailer and I've waited for the gun to be delivered for about 8 days. I have the black version as 10 versions really don't work in a European setting. Now I'm not sure if you can see this in the video, but the box arrived in a very bad state, which is of course a shame, but we all understand that sometimes you get a good box and sometimes you just get a bad box. Now let me tell you something about the original Magpul Masada ACR assault rifle. The first time I heard about it was of course in Modern Warfare 2 and then in Modern Warfare 3. I loved to play with this gun. The real steel Masada version though was meant to replace the standard M4A1 rifle, getting rid of some negatives of the M4A1 and upgrading the others, like for instance implying ambidextrous controls. Now without further ado, let's open the box and see what's inside. I am not gonna lie, this is all set up, I've already been using this replica for a couple of hours, but I've put all the things back inside like I got them, just so you're gonna have, you, just so you're gonna have an idea of what to expect. First of all we get a silica gel that we can discard and this is the rifle. The WE Masada comes with this full metal Remington style handguard which I must say I absolutely adore. Now what you get with the handguard are these rails. Now of course they are metal as well you get three of them. Uh, you get a long one, and this is the one, and you also get two shorter ones. You can put these anywhere on the handguard you wish. Except of course for the top rail which is fixed, you can combine, adapt and arrange the rails however you wish by screwing them on. Maybe you'd want a long rail on one side or one on the other uh, or attach a short rail on the bottom, uh, maybe for the hand grip or whatever. You can adapt these which is a really cool feature and the rails are of high quality as well which is awesome. With this uh, you'll receive the screws you'll need these to screw on uh, the rails to the handguard which is always useful and you get the removable iron uh, this is all metal iron sights the good thing about these sights as well uh, is that they are flippable you press this button here and you can flip them up and down once they're mounted on the gun, you can just flip them down to use any optics uh, you want or then maybe remove the optics and just flip them up again. So that's practical and it's a really detailed, really high quality stuff. You might have noticed that I'm talking about the good stuff now, uh, but that's because I'm just saving the bad things for later. This is uh, the first sight you get. It's also made completely out of metal. It works really well and smoothly. Uh, you can also adapt the windage. Uh, you have two versions of the front sights. A small hole for uh, long range precision shooting. And a bigger sight for close combat. Uh, you also get this with the gun. Uh, these are two metal rings. I'm, I'm not really sure what they're for. So if uh, anyone knows, please leave a comment and let me know. And of course, uh, one of the most important things you also get with the replica is the Magpul style P-Mag. It's called, yes, a P-Mag. It is 
supposedly made exactly like the real P mags, the mechanical P mags are, uh, and it, it is polymer. It's not metal, uh, but the real ones I've checked online um, uh, are also polymer. Now some people like this design, some prefer the general M4. The, the normal M4 magazines will also fit inside this gun. All right. Now what all of you are probably asking yourself, uh, and I should have I should have actually said earlier, is is this gun full metal? Now I've I've told you, the the sights are metal. The handrail is metal. The upper receiver is metal, and this is where the metal ends. Oh, and of course the barrel and the flash, uh, the flash hider, whatever it's called, the flash suppressor is metal. The barrel is metal. This um, this part here is metal. The upper receiver is metal, uh, and the um, like this can be hidden inside. Don't worry about it. It's not hanging out usually. Um, and and uh, uh, this uh, sling mount is metal and also this sling mount is also metal everything else so I'm talking about the lower receiver and the stock is of polymer now this is <laughs> this this is when we come to the bad part of this gun I've uh, I've received it like this and I was really excited. I really loved the, loved the externals. And as soon as I picked up the gun, I've noticed that my stock folds. And I've, I know that this is a folding stock. And it also stops here, so it doesn't it sort of um, doesn't flap around a lot unless you really try. Um, but I've noticed that when, when I tried to put it together this little pin that holds the stock in place was was already broken when I got the gun the pin was already broken um, so of course I immediately wrote to my retailer saying I, I received a broken gun completely out of the box it was already broken out of the box broken on arrival uh, they've, they've told me that they will try and send a new stock to me as soon as possible um, but I'll tell you the resolution of that later on um, ignoring this though I must say it is a beautiful beautiful gun the stock is extendable like this like so it extends quite, quite far and the cheek crest has two positions it's not a big difference though. This is one position one, position two. Of course, my gun flaps around because the pin is broken, uh, the latch or whatever you call it that should hold it in place. But otherwise, otherwise, if of course the manufacturer can, uh, made a mistake of making this out of polymer as well, that's why uh, it's broken. But otherwise. Um, I must say I do like the externals, I like the details, I like the simplicity of removing the, um, the hand guard or handrail or whatever for, um, for uh, well, to put in the battery, just, use this. just pull this out and then pull out the hand, the, the hand guard. Now, another negative thing about this gun is that when you put this on, you have very, very little space uh, for the battery. The only thing that you can potentially put in side the handguard is, um, is a 7.4 two-cell small nunchuck. Anything else, you will not have any space between the barrel and the um, between the barrel and the the, um, the handguard. If you put it back like so, you, you can see very very little space 
in between. Very little space. All right, let's put this back on. Now this gun has a version two gearbox. Uh, it supposedly has a high torque motor. Uh, so the internals should be on paper okay. The internals should be okay on paper. Uh, but let me tell you what happened. Um, and uh, oh, I forgot about one other thing. Uh, this is the manual that you receive. Um, it covers all the different versions of, of, of the gun that you can have. Um, and it also says that the battery can be either 7.4 uh, volt um, LiPo a battery or an 11.1 LiPo battery. Now, of course, I, I've read this before and I, sa I, told, I said to myself, of course I'm going to use an 11.1 LiPo, but this gun does not have a MOFSET chip. Um, and uh, everyone recommends you do not use an 11.1 LiPo. I've used an 11.1 LiPo on this gun for about an hour or let's say I've emptied one mag. Um, and uh, when I first shot the gun it was, it was great. Uh, it was loud, uh, it was powerful um, and I even got a little bit of uh, recoil or or just just some feedback from the gun that I'm shooting, which I loved. I, I fell in love with it. Uh, but then um, I, I, I uh, started shooting a little bit more. Uh, this is when uh, the trouble started. Uh, the gun started shooting two BBs at a time, uh, quarter of the distance. Uh, the BB started rolling down the barrel. Um, when I was not shooting, um, the fire selector on the other side uh, started to be a little wobbly and started to churn independently. Um, so, all in all, I must say I was really, really disappointed with the performance of this weapon. Uh, plus, you know, everyone's always saying you, you, you get what you pay for. With airsoft, with guns, you always get what you pay, f pay for. But not in this case. Unfortunately, this gun costs $400 or 400 euros, um, even more, 420 euros, which is what I paid for it. Uh, and considering you don't even get an unjamming rod, which you usually get with the gun, and the, uh, the cleaning rod for the barrel, um, I must say I am disappointed and because I got the broken stock and the gun started to uh, shoot inconsistently uh, I decided I am going to return this weapon even though I love the externals I love the stock design um, unfortunately I, I don't think it's worth the, the money I paid for it um, and even after I changed to a 7.4 battery, uh, LiPo battery, the, the, the troubles did not stop. Now maybe you're gonna have better luck because the design is beautiful but uh, this, is my, this is my review. I've told you my experience with the gun. Uh, thank you very much for listening and um, I hope you have better luck. Thank you. Bye-bye.